Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and I'm playing for you Lollipop Man from the Wagon Wheels book. I'll play it for you first. <laughs> Lollipop Man. And if you find that the rhythm difficult to remember, then just recite it in your head. Lollipop Man. Lollipop Man. And it becomes a lot easier to do. So as you can see, we are starting on the fourth finger. So let's just test our fourth finger before we get started. So I'm playing on the D string. <laughs> Make sure your elbow's nicely under the violin here. And now we're going to play a half bar. So all of the lollipop bit on one bow. Let's see if we can slur those three notes. We're just doing the first bar for now, okay? And. Let's do that again. Test your fingers. And. One more time. And. That's lovely. You really want to get used to using that fourth finger there. That makes your fourth finger really strong and it, it serves you well in future as well. So, let's get our fourth finger one more time and then we'll play it all the way through. One and two, three, four. Absolutely brilliant, well done. 
Okay, now what we're going to add in this piece is louds and softs and you can see from your music that we're starting forte underneath the first note, it says the letter F which means forte, that means loud. So you're going to use long bows for every half a bar in the first two bars, okay? Then when you see the third line, it says mezzo forte. Now I want you to think piano there. So piano means soft, so you're going to go very, very much different from the first two lines. Suddenly, very quiet. And then when you look at the last line, it has a crescendo. And crescendo, I don't know if you can say that Italian word. Let's practice saying it, shall we? Crescendo means gradually getting louder. Which means that when we were playing softer in the third line, we, we were using slightly shorter bows. But in the last line, while you play the crescendo, you want to gradually make your bows a little bit longer until, of course, you play at the end of line four, that semi-breathe with a very long bow. Okay, and then you go back to the beginning, da capo, from the head, from the top of the piece, to the word fine, and fine, fine in Italian means the end. Okay, so I want you to practice now with me going from line three and four. So we're starting quietly. So use much shorter bows here. Okay, three, four. and softs we will double check that we're playing every single note perfectly in tune and then we're going also a little bit faster don't worry if this is too fast for you at this stage when you practice it you will get better at it so maybe in a couple of days you can join us playing this faster but for those of you who already can here we go you can join in straight away one and two three four <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.